put challenge one for the name. Okay, all these other settings, leave them alone and hit OK. Okay, now my layout is currently in all panels. I recommend that you click that window, workspaces, all panels for this part of the video. And I, I also think you should leave this on for the majority of the time. That way you could get to know the menus. All right, now what we're gonna do is, before we do anything, we have to put a sequence into our video. And we do this in order to make sure that everything works properly together. And when we export our video, it exports properly. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hit the here is we're going to hit the control button N. Control N as in new. And you're going to have a bunch of options here, okay? Now, what I want everyone to do is click on the ARRI, and you're going to go to 1080, ARRI, 1080, 23.976, and that's it. Then you just hit OK. All right, everything should stay the same then. All right, next step, we're going to actually insert all of our videos from our desktop. All right, click and make sure you're on Project Challenge 1. Click and drag in all the entire folder. All right, so we have our entire folder with all of our videos. So now we're going to take our videos and we're going to actually put them on the sequence. This is the player head right here. Okay, so we're just going to start dragging our videos over. And it's going to say the clip does not match the sequence settings. Change sequence to match clip settings. You're going to say change sequence settings. So we made it so that it fits properly on your screen. Okay, here's video number two. And here's video number three. So I drag them into the onto the player. And you could drag this across. And this will show you all of your videos. So as it goes over the video, you'll see that the video plays, okay? All right, this is the playhead right here. All right, these are the videos. And you can move them back and forth. This controls the size of how much is showing per video. So it, this is a time distribution table here. This kind of distributes the time. When you stretch it out, it closes time. And when you make it smaller, it makes the videos expand on time, okay? With audio during this video, all we're gonna do is we're gonna put a, we're gonna cut together a mix of all three of these videos. Okay. okay. So when I say we're going to cut them together, I'm literally talking about a razor tool to cut them. So the razor tool, when you put it over the video, it will cut it. So I could cut this video into multiple different pieces. Cut this one into different pieces and this one into different pieces. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is after we've cut these videos up, kind of sliced it like bread, 
we're going to click back on our selection tool and we're just going to start moving we're going to start moving things around and notice how you could highlight it and move everything at once but what i'm going to do here is i'm going to start making a mix of all the different three videos and i'm going to combine them all together all right notice when i drag that out more I get more room all right or you could just drag it in and then give yourself some more space by moving everything over all right like this because it's gonna this is basically we're we're cutting everything together into pieces all right here here and this one here, this one here, this one here, and this one here. All right. Now, when you slice together um, your entire video selection, you could press the space bar to play through it. So now you can see how it's cutting. Cuts to all different fun. All right, now you guys see this video? All right, now what you're going to do, the last thing you're going to do after you cut your video together. Okay, guys, before you export, make sure that you put an in and an out. I will put a marker in and O will put another marker in. So mark your video with an I and an O to get what you want to export. So you're gonna go file and export media. Okay, and you're gonna export in the format H.264. This, this is a great one to use. It's pretty much universal. All right, everything else is good. And then you're just gonna hit export down here at the bottom. All right, then what's gonna happen is you could look on your desktop after you've exported successfully and you could find your video here. So here's my video. Okay, that is a completed pro challenge number one. Thanks, everybody.